Hi, you are on the Image Game channel. In this video I will tell you about 20 new games with thousands of positive games on Steam, and I will start with Forza Horizon 5, is an open world racing game. The game features an extensive collection of cars and locations, as well as a dynamic weather system that changes the conditions of the race. The graphics are stunning, and the gameplay is smooth and responsive. The game also includes a variety of different events, including street races, off-road rallies, and drag races. The game's storyline is engaging and well-written, and the game's music is an excellent complement to the gameplay. Overall, Forza Horizon 5 is an excellent racing game that is sure to please fans of the genre. Valheim One of the top survival games for today, in the Scandinavian setting. There is a lot of beauty in Valheim, from a huge map filled with dangerous adventures to entire villages that we can build together with friends. This 1GB survival sim has achieved what big-budget titles from the giants of the gaming industry couldn't. The game in a short time won a huge audience, and there are many reasons for success. Firstly, Scandinavian mythology is taken as a basis, and we survive on behalf of a Viking on a huge open island. Secondly, RPG elements are woven into the gameplay with passive skill leveling and boss killing. Thirdly, as a survival simulator, the game is rich in details and does not let you get bored even after tens of hours of playthrough. In addition, you can play not only alone, but also in multiplayer mode, and survival with friends is even more interesting. V Rising. The gameplay of any game feels unusual if not a good man is taken under control, but a villain or a monster. In V Rising, you will become a vampire, the one that is afraid of the sun, brings a nightmare to the inhabitants of medieval villages and lives in a gloomy castle. The game includes survival mechanics and an action RPG, in addition to setting up your shelter with a coffin instead of a bed, you will have adventures outside its walls which may end very badly if you do not enlist the support of a friend in co-op mode. Dyson Sphere Program This is a game about automating production lines on a global scale, where we are required to build massive empires on various planets. Factorio at maximum speed, so to speak. The game constantly gives new experiences and feelings of a pioneer. If other games of the genre usually cover the local map, here we have an entire arm of the galaxy at our disposal, and by the end of the game, the empty map of space will constantly sparkle with the lights of interstellar logistics ships. Scarlet Nexus This is the rare case when expectations were not met, because everything turned out to be much cooler than you imagined. A fairly typical RPG in almost all of its aspects, but its main difference is in the spectacular and active combat that does not let you relax. There is a wide variety of abilities that you really like and want to use. Each partner gives something different, and with the pumping of relations, the possibilities will only increase. The game should be completed twice, once for each of the heroes a guy and a girl. The characters will overlap, but each will go his own way, which will give new locations, allies and answers to questions. Kina, Bridge of Spirits. An adventure game about a young spirit guide, Ken, who uses her magical powers to help dead people make the transition from the physical world to the spirit world. In this she is helped by funny creatures Rotten Ones, who are happy to help the main character. If you love Pixar and Disney 3D animation, then Kina will surely lure you in at first sight. Developers in the past were engaged in the creation of commercials, and in this fairy tale they demonstrated all their experience. A Plague Tale, Requiem, is a gripping and emotionally charged action-adventure game that tells the story of Amisha and her younger brother Hugo, who are on the run from the Inquisition in medieval France during the time of the Black Death. The game combines elements of stealth, puzzle-solving, and combat to create a unique and memorable experience. The game's visuals are stunning, with detailed environments and character models that perfectly capture the grim and oppressive atmosphere of 14th-century France. 
The game's sound design is also top-notch, with a haunting soundtrack that perfectly sets the tone for the game's dark and foreboding world. Dorf Romantic is a peaceful, relaxing and calming game that allows players to build their own virtual world. The game is a city-building simulation game in which players will have to place different terrains, such as forests, mountains and fields, in order to create a balanced and thriving world. The game has a simple but charming art style, with bright colors and lovely animations that make the game a pleasure to look at. Overall, Dorf Romantic is a great game for those who like city-building simulators and want a game that is easy to pick up and play. Age of Empires 4 is the latest installment in the popular real-time strategy game series, developed by Relic Entertainment and published by Xbox Game Studios. The game is set in the medieval period and players will lead one of several civilizations through the ages, from the Dark Ages to the Imperial Age. The game's graphics are impressive, with detailed character models and environments that accurately depict the medieval period. The soundtrack is also noteworthy, with a mix of orchestral and traditional music that perfectly sets the tone for the game. The gameplay is classic, players building up their civilization, gathering resources, training armies, and engaging in battles against other civilizations. The game also introduces new features such as the ability to play as different civilizations with their own unique units and technologies, and a new Art of War mode which allows players to play in different scenarios with specific objectives. Resident Evil Village is the latest entry in the popular survival horror franchise developed and published by Capcom. The game takes place in a mysterious and creepy village that players must navigate while fighting off hordes of terrifying enemies. The game's visuals are impressive, with detailed character models and environments that perfectly capture the horror and suspense of the game. The sound design is also top-notch, with a creepy soundtrack that adds to the intense atmosphere. Overall, is a great addition to the franchise and is sure to please fans of the series. The game offers a familiar and satisfying gameplay experience, with new features and improvements that make it worth playing. Uncomplicated indie horror Choo Choo Charles offers players a somewhat atypical opponent in the form of an ugly spider engine that looks suspiciously like Thomas from horror memes. It will be interesting, but not scary at all. If you like uncomplicated, in their own way fascinating indie horror films that are created not so much to scare you as to brighten up the evening, you can try it. But keep in mind that the game is incredibly short, not replete with original mechanics, some unusual gameplay decisions, and not scary at all. High on Life. This is an action game filled with humor that invites players to take control of the hero savior and go to fight against alien invaders. We have to follow the locations, surveying the environment through the eyes of the protagonist, who will hold an unusual weapon in his hand, which, in addition to everything, can also speak. High on Life is a comedy game, so you are guaranteed a great mood. The project will also please with nice graphics and mechanics typical for FPS. Timberborn is a simulation and strategy game that has players manage and grow a beaver colony. The game takes place in a procedurally generated forest where players will have to manage their beaver colony's resources, build dams, and expand their territory. The game's art style is charming and cute, with hand-drawn and animated graphics that give the game a unique look. The gameplay is simple but satisfying, players will have to manage their beaver colony's resources, build dams and expand their territory while also dealing with different challenges such as predators and natural disasters. The game also includes different seasons which will affect the game's environment and the player's decisions. Stray is an adventure game, where players take on the role of a stray cat who must navigate the city and uncover the secrets. 
The gameplay is a mix of exploration, platforming, and combat. Players will have to navigate the city, solving puzzles and fighting off enemies. The game also includes a unique cat vision mechanic that allows players to see the world in a different way, revealing hidden paths and secrets. Overall, is a beautiful and engaging game that offers a unique take on the action-adventure genre. The game's unique setting, art style, and gameplay mechanics make it a must-play for anyone who enjoys games with a distinct atmosphere and style. Spider-Man – Miles Morales is a standalone expansion to the critically acclaimed Marvel's Spider-Man. The game follows the story of Miles Morales, a teenager with spider-like powers, as he takes on the role of Spider-Man and fights crime in New York City. The game's visuals are spectacular, with a detailed and realistic recreation of New York City and its inhabitants. The game's character models are also top-notch, with Miles and the game's other characters looking and moving like their comic book counterparts. The game's soundtrack is also noteworthy, with a mix of classic Spider-Man themes and new tracks that perfectly capture the game's tone. The gameplay is similar to the previous game, with players using a combination of web-slinging, parkour, and combat to take down enemies and complete missions. The game also introduces new abilities and powers that Miles has, such as the ability to camouflage and generate bioelectricity. Scorn is a first-person horror game that takes place in a nightmarish and abstract world that is inspired by the works of Geiger and the body horror genre. Players take on the role of a humanoid figure who wakes up in this world and must navigate through it to uncover the truth behind their existence. The gameplay is a mix of exploration, puzzle solving, and survival. Players will have to navigate the game's twisted environments, solving puzzles and avoiding deadly creatures. The game also includes a unique body horror mechanic that forces players to confront the disturbing nature of the game's world and their own existence. War Tales – This is an open-world RPG set in a medieval setting in which we will lead a small group of mercenaries with unique specializations. We will be able to explore the world in search of riches, take new mercenaries to our squad, complete various tasks and much more. The battles are implemented step by step and you have to fight with wild animals, as well as other fearless mercenaries or bandits. It is also available to improve the equipment of heroes, craft, develop your camp, and so on. Tales of Arise As is often the case in the Tales of series, Two planets serve as the scene of action Dana and Rena. At the beginning of the game, the Renian have been holding the inhabitants of Dana in slavery for 300 years, exploiting them for their own purposes. The plot begins with the story of one of the slaves, who does not remember anything about his past. However, one day everything changes. The story itself does not shine with originality, the heroes are going to destroy the six villains who in every possible way mock the people. However, this is more than offset by the elaboration of characters, plot twists and a variety of interesting situations. In addition, each arch here offers something new. Dying Light 2 Stay Human is an action-adventure survival game. The game is a sequel to Dying Light 2015 and takes place in a post-apocalyptic world overrun by zombies players take on the role of Aiden Caldwell, a survivor who must navigate this dangerous world while also dealing with the various factions vying for power. The gameplay is a mix of parkour, combat, and choice-based narrative. Players will have to navigate the game's open-world environment, completing missions, and taking on hordes of zombies. The game also includes a dynamic decision-making system that allows players to shape the story and the world around them. Elden Ring. The game is a collaboration between Miyazaki and George Martin, the author of the A Song of Ice and Fire series, and is set in a new fantasy world. Players take on the role of a warrior who must journey through the world and uncover the truth behind the Elden Ring, 
a powerful artifact that has been shattered. Players will have to navigate the game's open-world environment, fighting off enemies, solving puzzles, and uncovering the game's story. The game features fast-paced and intense combat, as well as a challenging difficulty level that will put players' skills to the test. Overall, is an exciting and challenging action role-playing game that will appeal to fans of From Software's previous games like Dark Souls and Bloodborne, as well as those who enjoy a good fantasy story. That's all. Thanks for watching this far. The Image Game Channel was broadcasting for you. Bye everyone.